Welcome aboard. We've been living on board for a few weeks now and figured we'd give you a quick tour of the boat now that we've been living on board and we've got it sort of organized. Come on in. When you first come down, we've got the seating area. We decided to go full bore with the boat bun look. We've got mismatched couches and everything. Actually, that's not really what it's going to be. This is our new couch, couch fabric that we're going to be using. Um, this side, we're actually going to be rebuilding and doing the same thing over here. Over on the port side, I guess it is, we've got a pull-out sofa, so it basically folds out into another berth. It's kind of useless. It's got storage underneath it, and it's almost impossible to get into. This one's nice and easy. You just move the cushion out of the way, and then you got nice access to get underneath. It's a mess right now, I know. This side over here, you got to have like six people lift the thing up to even get anything out of there. Not worth it. Not going to work. So, But that's our seating area. We've got a nice fold-down table here. Comes all the way down, and it'll even fold all the way out, and there's a leg so that you can have seating on both sides, and we can sit a pretty good number of people for dinner over here. This shelf, too. Forgot to mention that. We've got some storage that's going to be going over here. There's actually a nice cabinet that'll be right here that'll be sort of a pantry type of a thing and other types of goods that we're going to have for the galley area. And that's going to be going right here. It's not installed right now because i got to do a little rework on this and then it'll go in. And then back over here we've got the galley. We've got the fridge. It actually used to be an icebox, got converted into a fridge. Much, much better. we got Curious George representing down here. And then we've got a pretty nice size fridge, as mentioned in a previous video. It's almost the size of a regular residential. We've got a couple of shelves in here. They actually slide out of the way, and then you got nice deep, cut, a deep uh, cavernous area down at the bottom for storing drinks and other odds and ends, and it's a pretty good size. And then we got a little small freezer compartment up top that we can put some fish or other things like that. Got a nice size cabinet over here for pantry items and other dry goods and things like that. Definitely necessary. We've got our big spice cabinet back over here. This is actually new. Used to be another enclosed cabinet kind of like this one, but we've opened it up. That way we can fit all of our spices. We like to cook, so we need to make sure we can fit all the spices. We've got our electric panel here. Nothing important to see there, but it just goes in the galley. And then we've got a little cabinet there. We've got a huge, deep kind of other dry goods storage area there. And then our nice big area where we put all of our pots and pans and cups and plates and utensils and everything else. So lots of great storage in the galley area and it's all easy access from right here. And then we got the sink here. We do have pressurized fresh water on board so we can do dishes and, you know, drink the water out of the tanks and everything else we want to. So Kelly's smearing at me in the background. So. <laughs> but that's the galley area. And then as we move back over this way to the port side, we've got the guest uh, cabin area. It's a bit of a mess right now because with all the projects, I have all my tools out and I have everything else and we just went ahead and put them back there right now. Plus we got some other things that we haven't gotten to fit away yet, but that's the, uh, the guest area here. Um, we've got a nice closet in there for them and then a few shelves and things like that and then a few ports for ventilation and a nice door to close it off if they want some privacy. So that's a nice area there. And as we move forward, We've got our head that's over here on the port side of the boat. And it's got a good shower head, standing room shower inside of there. We've got our actual toilet in here. It's an electric flush toilet. It's very, very nice. We don't have to hand pump it, which is what we used to have to do. That's what most boats have is a thing where you just got to pump it up and down. You get your workout, but it's a pain in the butt. So now we got the nice electric freshwater toilet. We got our sink. We got our medicine cabinet up there and a little bit of storage over here on the side for, you know, towels and linens and whatever else we decide to put over there. We do have, obviously, cables hanging all over the place. You'll see them a little bit everywhere. That's because I'm pulling cables for different odds and ends of projects. And eventually there's going to be ceiling panels to cover all that up. And then all the way in the very front, we've got the master bed. This is what's called a V-berth. As you can see, it angles together as we move up to the front. Lots of big space here for Kelly and I to sleep. We've got a huge hatch above us that I've also got to finish the trim piece around it, but gives us great ventilation up here in this area, makes it nice and comfy. We've got a couple of closets over here off to the side. We have a door over here and this closet here, as you can see, I'm redoing the vinyl that goes on the wall with a nice foam cushion on the back of it. Um, it's getting finished up and then I've got some electric work that's going on in here, but this is what it's kind of going to look like and then it'll be finished off. We are also going to be putting some little lift up 
platforms below so that we can just store stuff below there and then have all of our hanging goods here in the closet. And with the V-berth, the nice thing about boats is that they try to fit storage everywhere. So we've got these four drawers here which fit all of our clothes. And then from where those drawers end all the way forward, that whole area is all storage underneath there, which is great because Kelly gets cold in the winter and she needs a lot of winter clothes. So that whole front section is going to be all Kelly's winter clothes. It's actually not. It's going to be lots of spare parts and oil filters and things like that. And then the other half will be Kelly's winter clothes. So <laughs> we'll make sure we can fit all that in there. These little dangly things here, in case you're wondering, they're for the wind scoop, which we mentioned earlier. It's basically this, I don't even know what you want to call it, but basically this thing that catches the wind you support it so that it kind of faces the direction of the wind and it catches all the wind and then forces it down into here. Works basically like a nice fan or air conditioner almost whenever it's nice and cooking. So it's a good little thing. And that's home for us. It's a comfy home. We've been on board. I think last week was our first full week, but we moved on probably two and a half, three weeks ago, something like that. Um, it's been very comfortable. We finally got everything put away. The first few days that we were living on board, it was just kind of a mess and we were stepping over things and each other and whatever else to move around. But now we've got it all organized and it's uh, it's nice and comfy so we've still got tons of storage we haven't filled up almost any of the storage underneath the berths or anything else so it's very comfortable and uh we've got back in the main salon area underneath the floorboards because like i said they pack storage everywhere so back in this area underneath the front section we've got our fresh water tank where we store the 150 gallons of water directly behind it we've got a 50 gallon diesel tank right here underneath the floorboards and then back underneath Kelly's feet there, which is back in this direction here, we've got our water heater and our fresh water pump. A few other things, that's our water heater there. It actually gets circulated hot water, hot coolant from the engine and that's how the water heater works. And uh, that right there is our fresh water pump that make sure that we're able to take clean showers and keep ourselves smelling fresh as we're out sailing around the world, so. I actually just rebuilt the water compartment yesterday and put the water heater and fresh water pump back in. We didn't have fresh water when we first moved on board, but fortunately we're living at the marina and they have a bathhouse. We've been able to shower up there, but now we got fresh water on board. We can do dishes and we can shower and we can do whatever we want to on board. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe so that you can follow us along on the journey as we finish up our projects and finally sail off. If you want to see what the boat looked like back whenever it was torn apart in the spring, check out the description below because Kelly's going to make sure to put the video link for that one down there. See you guys next week.